Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna find characters that occur zero or more times. The last challenge used the plus sign to look for characters that occur one or more times. There's also an option that matches characters that occur zero or more times. The character to do this is the asterisk or star key. Soccer word, goal. And then we have a G phrase, which is gut feeling, and then an O phrase, over the moon. And then we say regex G-O. And so what we're doing is going to be looking for all the things where it goes G-O and then goes O multiple times afterwards. So here, if we do to the soccer world, which is the goal, it's going to return a string inside of an array that matches G and then O plus. What, what do you think is going to happen here? It's just going to match G. Interesting. So the star does zero or more times because there's, so it just matches this G here. It doesn't necessarily need the O because it's zero or more times. And over the moon is going to return null because it doesn't have a G in it. The O is the only one that needs to occur zero or more times. Okay, so for this challenge, Chewy quote has been initialized as arg behind the scenes. Um, create a regex, Chewy regex, Chewy regex. Oh, and they're saying the Chewy quote is behind the scenes. Chewy regex that uses the star character that matches the uppercase A character immediately followed by zero or more characters of A. Cool. So, I mean, uh, yeah. Your regex does not need flags or character classes, and it should not match any of the other quotes. Interesting. Okay, cool. So it's arg is A and then lowercase a. So we don't want to change the case sensitivity. So A, A, and then star. And then let's see. I wonder if we can console log this. Cool. Looks like it's working. Your regex should use the star character uh, to match zero or more A's. Your regex should match a uppercase A. Your regex should match ah uh, in Chewy quote, which is this one. They seem to match. Um, we could test that too by going like this. If this is true, cool. Um, your regex should match 16 characters if we do result dot length. It gives us one, but we want to be the result at zero, which is like the thing. So it's 16 characters, got it. So result at zero is the ah thing, and then this is just the result. And so if I say result at position zero dot length, I'm getting the length of that string. 16, cool. This will be covered more in the data um, structures portion in future lessons. And your regex should not match any characters. He made it in a fair movie, blah, 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 blah. So if we run the tests, we see they pass. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.